Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Transport Fever. I did a little experimentating on some of the lines. Um, we're outside of Portland right now. I, I just wanted to kind of play a little bit with some of these junctions to see if I could make them a little bit more efficient. It certainly worked because as soon as I got the junction completed, none of the trains came by. I've been waiting here for quite a while. And we are getting a little bit of activity here soon. Oh, look at that. We got three of them. Three of them coming through. Yeah, so this area was getting a little bit busy. Um, so basically what I did was uh, all the, the, the passengers and the, the two goods trains kind of going out of Portland and going all the way there to like the goods uh, factories. We're all using the same line. So basically I quadrupled the line and uh, got the goods on this side of the track and the passengers on this side of the track. Um, so those trains going here to Tacoma Halt will stay to the left while the passenger trains and the ones going on will stay to the right. And uh, you know, from this side, the junction doesn't look too bad. Um, there's some weirdness going on with the bridge here. I don't, I don't know what to do about that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. The, the, the architect said this is the way it's supposed to be, uh, so that's the way we built it. Um, I don't know what this is, but uh, he was convinced that that was the proper way to go about it. But yeah, it looks pretty good from this side, but uh, going over on this side, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what this is. What I would like to find is a mod that allows for us to graffiti murals and things like that. If if that were the case, I think this would actually work out pretty good. But right now, I'm just looking at this big <laughs> black wall. And uh, I'm not I'm not the happiest with it. But you know what? It, it's really increased the throughput of this intersection. It's been working out really, really well. So I'm going to leave it for now and uh we'll probably go and revisit that later um i increased the number of ships on the line because as i got to look at it 75 just didn't look like enough passengers uh going at 13 miles an hour so i increased it up to three uh we're not getting a lot of people going back and forth on our new shipping line but we are getting some people going back and forth on our shipping line so that's uh, that's news. That's something. We've actually got some people starting to, to hang out and wait here. So hopefully that will um, that will start taking off a little bit over time. Not a lot of time has passed. Uh, just a little bit of time has passed. So last episode, we got the shipping up. Um, we were going to either do that or make a line going from Baton Rouge to Raleigh and back to Portland. And uh, since we did the shipping in the last episode, I guess that leaves doing that on this one. So we will get to that right after we get that intro rolled. We'll, uh, we'll watch the uh, small little fuel train here pull into Centennial as we roll that intro. There we go. Much better. So, I'm wondering, do we want to take it out of here, or do we want to... I think what we want to do is bring it out a little bit before we break off and start heading toward Baton Rouge. Uh, let's just check out Baton Rouge and uh, Raleigh and kind of see where we might want to run our stations. I guess I'd probably want to run it on the inside here. What does the hill situation look like on this side of town? It's, it, it's pretty significant. What about on this side of town? This side of town looks a little bit better. So we may want to cut around this side and then turn it over that way toward Raleigh and hit Raleigh on this side as well. Okay, that looks like that might work. And then go, oh, go. Go a long ways around here and hit Portland on that side. This track and this track, I don't think ever actually technically meet up. I mean, they kind of intersect there, but there's no, 
there's no way to to go from one to the other and i'm not excited about making that occur so yeah i think if we can snake it through the mountains and through this field and take it around it'll be expensive but um it'll be fun we've got a ton of money we're making we're making money hand over fist right now so we might as well make some bad financial decisions now while the making bad financial decisions is good. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and start right here. Let's get a new station. We will turn off the electricity. It really, really, really wants us to do electricity right now. And I think I wanna take it out just a little bit further because we may want to do a cross street. Actually, let's go ahead and define that street first. I believe that is a medium street appears to be yeah let's uh go ahead and take that going off maybe that way take that off that looks all that looks all wrong oh no 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 uh let's try it from here that's a little bit more reasonable okay that looks more like a a, a street crossing all right we'll put that right there um Two platforms, 240 meters. That looks like what we want to do. And uh, we'll do the 1920s era, since we are um, actually in 1930. So that seems to be reasonable. And uh, let's just take a look. Is that gonna, is that gonna work? We want to go ahead and do a little bit of a pre-curve. I think we can do that. Curvature. Curvature A. Um, curvature... Oh, no, not curvature A. Um, curvature B? Curve direction? The other way? Curve direction, no direction. There we go. That's what we're wanting right there. Uh, curvature A. How do we make you not be a curvature anymore? I don't know if that's curvaturing. It doesn't look like it is. That looks that looks pretty straight to me. You know what? Let's just uh, let's just find out for sure. Is that straight? That is straight. Okay. So curvature B. We want to take you off that way. And we're committed. All right, yeah, and that'll make that curve, and we're heading off just directly toward Raleigh. That will work just fine. We want to take that through here, around here, and hit Raleigh somewhere along this place right here. Yeah, we want to go ahead and add this crossing in here. But not remove the building. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. All right, same options. Uh, no curvature, I don't believe. No. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Um, it is wanting to dig into the ground a bit. Yeah, it would probably be better. Let's uh, do the secondary road connection. Where is that? In construction B, both. Yeah, we'll connect it. We'll connect it just like that. That'll get weird. We're rid of the weird elevation thing we were seeing there. All right, let's do that. That right there. I'll uh, pull out our medium street. Go ahead and take that in that general direction. Take you in that general direction. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just bring that on. All right, so there is Raleigh and there is Baton Rouge. Let's go ahead and connect those two as our first trick. Let 
This will be the inside line. And you know what? I'm okay with doing the gouging right now because um, we've got a lot of money and it'll help the trains run better. We can always go through and smooth it if the need arises. All right, that hooks up those two just fine. And we need to get this now running to Centennial. And I think I want to do I'm gonna work on the inside. We need to take this, I think, eventually to the other side of this road. No, the best way across. I'm seeing some mountain gouging. Just a little bit. We'll cut into the side of that hill. We'll just run parallel to this road. I think I see where I want to try to cross. Brain alignment collision, but you seem to be okay with it. Right, so we want to take it off that way. And this was the inside. We need to get that somehow. Too much slope. Something's getting in the way there. I'm wondering if it's the signals. Look. I very much disagree with your assessment of the situation. Can we just bring this in direct? No. Uh, maybe it's something to do with this intersection. So let's just get rid of all that. Yeah, okay, it was the intersection. There we go, that works. You take that off, it's gonna be kind of a slow corner there. I think I'm okay with that. Take you through, we'll take you through. And a uh, small street, a uh, small country road. Goes like that. All right, no problems there. All right, and we are getting to where we need to replace a lot of vehicles. And I actually thought I saw one that was a train that needed replaced. Which, uh, you don't see those as often as you do the road vehicle ones. Road vehicles are always going out of style. All right, and uh, there's our Centennial collection uh, connection. So we have all those three hooked up. Now we just got to do the big and ugly one. We can just see how big and ugly this is going to be. <laughs> okay, we'll do the inside one. We'll start with that. Okay, and we've already got our first tunnel. Okay, I think I'm going to start out with a curve.
start out with a curve, and I'm going to head toward that road. And the reason I want to do that is I think generally following the road will give us a little bit better contours. And minimal gouging. Did say minimal gouging, not no gouging. <laughs> Okay, it wants to do a tunnel. Let's see, we've not done a tunnel before. Let's 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 do a tunnel. Might as well. Seems like fun. And uh, we'll go up here through this valley, and it looks like we're probably going to have another tunnel here. If I'm guessing. Yeah, I think we want to take that kind of straight through there if we can. Able to align terrain. Able to align. Okay, one million dollars to get a tunnel through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and take that back a little bit because we want to get that curve. Right there, so we can kind of clip this farm and go around. All right, yeah, no, 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 no worries at all. This is this is going great, going great. Let's take it out like that, and we want to start curving here. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we'll want to make it into that station. All right, I don't know if that curve is wide enough. Let's see, and I don't remember if that's the inside or the outside. That is the inside. Okay, so we need to we need to make it from like right here. All right, yeah. Let's take it. Let's take it from this end. And hook it up this way. That that seems like it would make a little bit more sense. There we go. All right, I didn't keep track of how much money this was that we were spending. I saw that one of the tunnels was a million bucks. I saw that. So we're probably going to double that. It's going to be at least two million dollars. I assume the other tunnel probably wasn't, uh, wasn't cheap. I don't know if it was as expensive as this one. But uh, we're, we're dealing with probably at least, at least four million dollars, I would assume. At least $4 million. I don't know what the odds are of this line actually produce, or how long it's going to take for this line to produce $4 million. But that is all right. Uh, this actually uh, will complete our passenger rail service. Um... We might be able to make some express lines or something like that, but for right now, uh, this is uh, complete. Uh, all of the cities are currently connected in uh, one way or another. All right, and uh, let's see. Where are our depots at? We have a depot in Portland that I was just looking at that doesn't look like it's going to be helpful in this situation. Does Centennial have one? I thought we had another one on this side of the world. Does Tacoma have one? Oh no, there's one right here. 
Do we want to get one in like Centennial? Would that be helpful? Maybe. Um, I think we should. I think we should. Uh, I think we should get another one. Actually, let's get one over here on this side. In um, in what is this? Is this Tempe? Yes, Tempe. Let's let's put one in Tempe. So yeah, if we got one like right, try to align it with this platform here. That looks pretty aligned. We'll just take it out a little bit, leave a little room for expansion. I don't know that it's going to happen, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. There we go. And uh, that'll be a way in and a way out for it. Um, okay, so let's just uh, set up our line. We need a new line that goes from Centennial to Baton Rouge to Raleigh and then to Portland. All right, and let's just take a look at this line here. Uh, eh. All right. The Centennial to Baton Rouge looks okay. The Baton Rouge to Raleigh looks okay. The Raleigh to Portland looks okay. Oh, we need to go. We need to reverse it as well. That's what the problem is. Uh, Portland, Raleigh, Baton Rouge, then Centennial. There we go. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Yeah, you're going to go out, and then we need to put a cross. Oh. Um, it's not going to fit. We're going to have to do it right here. Okay, Portland and Raleigh, we want the other terminal. Yep, and in Baton Rouge, we want the other terminal. Okay, and then you just need to be able to get this line needs to be able to cross going the other way as well, and that should finish that. So right where we have this, we need to just cross over. Much slope. What? What are you guys talking about? You're not making sense. Okay, what if we tried this side first? Okay, that's fine. Much slope. I'm not entirely sure this thing is uh, fully in control of its facilities. Uh, let's go ahead and just just do a little bit of creative reorganization. 
can see why the bulldozer tool is such a popular thing in this. It just seems like it's... Um, still too much slope. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, let's get it, try to get it off the station. Maybe that's causing a problem. Too much slope still. It looks like it's hitting down here, is what it's looking like to me. These road connections. Still think there's too much slope, do you? What if we remove like all of this? Uh, we just have we just have a couple of tracks going out. Yeah, you're uh, you're you're all kinds of messed up. You don't even know if you're coming or going here. Let's uh, try a little bit of just smoothness. Maybe that will help you remember what it is exactly that you do, and. Uh, what your are what your purpose is and get a little bit of track going that way we're gonna do a cross okay that looks good go the other way too much slope oh what's going on here okay I agree there is too much slope. That that's too much slope right there. I I completely concur with your with your assessment. Sorry to have ever doubted you. Yes, I agree. That that was too much slope. I, why you did that? That's that's your own fault, and you have to deal with that. But uh, for now, I can I can agree with that. Ah, <laughs> that works right there. <laughs> oh my, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I have no idea why it's being so stubborn. It, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Usually I would just bulldoze it and rebuild it and it would be fine. Um, that didn't seem to want to work in this situation. So, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we may revisit that at another time. Right now, I'm just thrilled that um, we do have a connection of some sort there. And um, it looks like that line works now. Uh, let's see, we should have something named something silly like line one. Okay. And line one looks like it can function. All right. Um, that is actually, actually great. All right. So we want to call this... Um, uh, city, and this is going to be the Eastern Loop. Eastern Lou? No, Eastern Loop. Poop. Oop. Oop. There we go. City, Eastern Loop, and uh, we just need to get some trains running on it. So let's go over here to our new depot, and uh, we will get on that. Let's see what we have available now. Oh, look at all these trains. Uh, we have green ones and black ones and uh, all the sort of things in between. Let's see, I think we were using that one. Uh, I think we want some with a little bit of speed. That one is 80. That one's the old Union Pacific. It is rather slow. Pacifics, uh, those have been, we've, we've got those out there. Uh, the Mikados are pretty slow. We have an Atlantic. That's a little bit older. Do we want to do the Pacific or or the Class A1? I'm not sure if we're using this. If we are, I don't think we're using it for a passenger line. 80 miles an hour? I'm sold. Let's do it. Uh, wagons, we want, uh, let's see, we got the new Streamliner car. 20 passengers, 120 miles an hour. 
80 miles an hour. 20 passengers, a little bit cheaper. Heavyweight 281 parlor. Central. Kind of got a green one. This one has the name Bradshaw pa painted on it. Um, let's do, uh, let's do the, let's do a, a mix and match. Uh, let's do, let's not do a mix and match. Let's use, uh, let's see, we've got a green, let's use this one. This one's cheaper, carries more people. Doesn't go as fast, but it goes as fast as our engine. So let's use the Heavyweight 28-1 Parlor. And let's do... Let's do 20-40-60. Let's do three of those. I think, I think that'll work for now, starting out. Uh, we'll only do one train right now. And if it gets busier, we'll just add another one. Okay, I feel like I was robbed. Um, I feel like I purchased three green cars and I got three red ones. But, you know, that works. That works. Huh, did I not get? I thought I purchased those. Those are definitely green. Heavyweight 281 Parlor. Huh. Don't know. I mean, it looks like it's the right name. Just doesn't look like um, it's the right thing. Well, can we fix that? Make it green. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's, that's sharp. Very, very green. That's what we purchased right there. All right, well, this guy is going to go and work on our brand new line. He's going to go around and uh, visit some tunnels and uh, and go through the mountains in, in, in the loop pattern. I would say I'm not expecting him to make money, but, uh, you know, sometimes these lines just surprise me. You never know where people are going to want to go. So yeah, I think I'll get a nice little stationary shot here of this guy going over the bridge. He might even be lucky and catch a ship, though I don't see any coming coming very anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll sit here and watch him go over the bridge, and I will say thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where we will do what I forgot, and that is set up a taxi service in those two cities that we just connected. <laughs> that would help. All right, have a good one.